Associative arrays are excellent for both 2D and 3D modeling. In a case like this parking garage, a 3D array can quickly create all of our support columns. I'll select one existing support column and start the array command. I can either specify the number of items using my mouse, as you can see as I move it, the previewed number of items increases. Or I can use the count option and enter the number of rows and columns I'd like to use. Then I can specify an opposite corner for spacing or enter a spacing value for individual objects. Now before I finish, I'll enter the Levels option to create more than one level for this array. I'd like a total of three levels. And for the distance between levels, for this model it's 11 feet. Now you can see that support columns have been created on every level and that if I select one of them, I select the entire array, which is the benefit of an associative array. If I needed to go back in and change anything, all I do is select the array, and the contextual ribbon tab that appears lets me adjust the number of columns, rows, and levels, as well as their spacing. I can also change the item that was used to begin my array, replace items, and if I've made any changes, I can also reset the array. Now in my case, I have a support column on each level that's right in the middle of my ramps. So I'd like to delete those. To make it easy on myself, I'll change the visual style to something like wireframe. Then I'll hold control and select the three columns I'd like to delete. Just type E for the erase command, and the columns are gone.